is Roxy. Um, like I say, we've been training with her for about maybe a month and a half, uh, maybe two months. So it's going to be the same deal with Roxy, but she's going to be using a tennis ball. Inside the tennis ball, there's an odor rag inside. So we're going to we're going to actually get her out, and we're going to play fetch with her, just catch. And what that's going to do is that's going to learn her nose to know wherever that skin is that her ball's somewhere around. So you just keep working and working with them, and then once they get that odor down, you'll move to the next odor, and you'll do the same thing. After you get all four odors down, if you're going to train them on all four odors, you'll have four balls. You, you never use the same ball because you do not want to cross-contaminate uh, the balls with the odors. So once you put this inside there, you'll go ahead and play fetch back and forth, and she will go crazy. No. She'll bring it back. Um, when we first started with this dog, she wasn't that way. She wouldn't even chase the ball, but now she's crazy for the ball. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Daddy. Good girl. Daddy. I thought it was a good ball guy. Okay. Yeah. 
Daddy, what is what time's the football Whoa, game? Good girl. What time's the football game? Here in just a little bit. Good girl. That'll bite a track that ball. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We'll be making some more videos as we go with Roxy. Um, the way we train her, what we do, and why we do it. But throughout these videos while we're training, uh, we'll kind of explain to you about residual odor, uh, indication, alerting. Um, like I say, now, the statute laws are different from different states. Um, the way that I train and uh, how I train my dog is is to the laws here in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, for one, I never put my dog inside of a car. Uh, the reason for that is that you get poked by a needle or if they get into the, the drugs, that it will really uh, hurt them, uh, especially if it's a hard drug. Um, I carry charcoal, I carry staples, I carry all kinds of items that would help him if he was in a bind. Or if he was to get into the drugs um, if he was to stick his nose in the drugs especially uh, cocaine heroin or meth um, I would charcoal him because obviously he would then he would overdose and I've never had to do that and I hope I never have to but we have it just in case this video was a little short but as we go we'll be making some more I do have some other videos from when we first started training her on uh, just the, the odors, I'll add them. Uh, just a lot of it, just watching her. But other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you have not yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.